Transformations Rotations With rotations, there are three key bits of information that we need to know. First, the angle of rotation. Then the point of rotation. And also the direction of the rotation. Now note that the size and shape never change. Here is how a few different types of rotations look. Now, generally, there are two types of questions you will come across in this area. The first type will ask you to rotate this shape about a given coordinate point, something like this. And the second type will ask you to describe the transformation that has taken place that maps shape A onto shape B, basically asking you to find out what rotation has happened. So, once again, an easy way to answer these questions is to use tracing paper. This allows you to easily keep the shape well and this method also has a small chance of error. An example of a type 1 question would be, rotate shape A 90 degrees clockwise about the point 2, 3 and label it B. Now I know for the people who kind of get the point and think this is a bit of a no-brainer, it doesn't get any more complex than you think. So what we're going to do is basically with the tracing paper, cover the shape, copy it onto the tracing paper with your pencil. Now what we're also going to do is press down the tracing paper where the point is. You can do this with your pencil. And all that's left is for the tracing paper to be rotated. In this case, we're going to rotate it. 90 degrees clockwise and wherever the shape lands we just mark out the corners one by one until the shape can be redrawn on the actual sheet of paper so we just remove the tracing paper draw in the actual shape and then we're done so moving on to type 2 questions an example of one of these could be describe the transformation that maps shape A onto shape B the most straightforward way of doing this is by trial and error using tracing paper. Not very mathematical, but it gets the job done. And is also a solid method with a small margin of error once you've got the correct rotation point. Another more advanced way will be covered later in another video. So firstly, we draw the shape again on the tracing paper. Then we select a point, random point that you think should be the point of rotation and then rotate the tracing paper to see if the rotating shape aligns with the second shape and if at first you don't succeed keep selecting points until the shape on the tracing paper and shape B align together when you find the right point write down the coordinates of this point this is our point of rotation. The angle of rotation should also be noted. It will usually be about 90 or 180 degrees clockwise or anti-clockwise. So the final answer here would be that our shape is rotated anti-clockwise 90 degrees about the point minus one, one. And that's it. Once again, job done. If you like this series, be sure to comment, like and subscribe to be kept updated on new in-depth videos and most importantly share. I mean, what's the point of knowledge if you can't share it, right? And if we can make some people not give up on maths because of these videos, then our job is done. Thanks again for watching and for learning. Peace.